Searching for the first cuckoo of spring in the wetlands of Wiccan Fen, Cambridgeshire. Steering through the loads, through the tall rushes where the reed warblers nest. The cuckoo is a brood parasite, laying its eggs in another bird's nest. And high up in the trees it will wait, and when the warblers leave it will swoop in, with just ten short seconds to lay its egg in the nest. By last May there were four reed warbler nests here, and each one held a cuckoo's egg. On these 1,600 acres live highland cattle and conic ponies, introduced to graze the land. There are deer and grass snakes, caterpillars that live inside the willow trees, false scorpions and great crested newts, otters, water voles, dragonflies, kingfishers, snipe. Dusk brings chiffchaffs, marsh harriers, barn owls, bitterns. The celandines are out, the birch and hawthorn are coming into leaf, and soon there'll be marsh orchids in the sedge, widgeons and lapwings nesting. But it is the cuckoo's arrival that heralds spring in Britain. They're expected around April 14th, and Wiccan Fen is their first port of call on their journey back from Africa. They'll stay just ten weeks. Since the 1960s, numbers have fallen by nearly 60%, and each year fewer and fewer birds make the annual migration to these shores because food and water sources in Africa are depleted. We're waiting for the colts, the new shoots that rise up higher and keep the reed warbler nests hidden. We keep our eyes trained on the sky, waiting for a glimpse of something grey and dove-sized with a white barred underbelly. We tilt our heads, raise our ears and listen, hoping through the sound of the wood pigeons and the frogs and the chatter's warblers to hear the low, sweet call of the first cuckoo.